The Olympic rings are full of significance. They stand for the five major continents, Europe, Asia, Africa, Australia, and the Americas. And at least one of the colors, blue, yellow, black, green, and red, is found in every flag in the world. But here at the Huarong Archery Range, the competitors are only concerned with one set of rings, and they're in the bullseye. And today at Huarong Range, eight men and eight women advance to the individual finals looking for a gold medal in the golden ring. Yesterday, American Jay Bars moved up while rocking out to White Snake. Today, Motley Crue serenaded the Pan Am Games champ. While it was heavy metal music playing in Jay's head, it was nerves of steel that kept Bars on top and brought him a still different medal, an Olympic gold medal to wear around his neck. I was nervous the last three arrows, um, my last arrow especially. I knew I had a real good shot at winning the medal. And um, so I was a little nervous my last arrow, but I don't know, like I said, I like to stay a little pumped up, so that helps me because I can channel that energy, the nervous energy into being aggressive when I shoot. Where a lot of people are always trying to calm down, always trying to calm down. Well, instead, I just use it for my benefit. For Jay Bars, being aggressive worked. And now that he has won the gold and had a taste of media attention, what's his next dream? I just think it would be neat, especially being an archer. They, you know, it's very hard to get on the Wheaties box. There's only been six or eight people ever on a Wheaties box. Mary Lou got on it. Bruce Jenner got on it. My medal's the same color as theirs, so hopefully I can get on it. Well, we can't guarantee a contract with Wheaties, Jay, but just so you can see what it might look like, In stark contrast to Jay Bars, silver medalist Park Sung Soo of Korea keeps focused and calm by meditation rather than music. He finished only two points behind Bars with a total score of 336. Soviet shooter Vladimir Ichev, who has been shooting consistently throughout the week, earned the bronze. Two-time gold medalist Daryl Pace finished the semifinal round two points below the eight-man cutoff. For archery, Pace's absence in the finals is like the first time Arnold Palmer missed the U.S. Open cut. Rick McKinney advanced to the final round, but was never in contention for a medal. His overall placing? Sixth. No American women made it to the final round, where a proud trio of Koreans dominated. These young and exceptionally talented Korean women may dominate international archery for several Olympiads. Kim Soon Young won the gold and broke many records en route. A centuries-old Korean tradition of excellence in archery has reached its apex in this 17-year-old girl. Wong Hee Kyung, 12 points back, won the silver medal. And the bronze went to Yun Yong Suk.